Israel can be destroyed in 5 minutes by a Palestinian missile attack. Ismail Haniya, the head of the political wing of the Palestinian Islamic resistance movement Hamas said this. This is what the Hamas leader said at a time when superpowers like Russia are standing by the Palestinians. Currently, Israel's hostility with Russia has reached its peak. Hamas leader Ismail Haniya also said that if Israel starts a new conflict with the resistance movement, the existence of Israel will be destroyed in a few minutes by the Palestinian missiles. He said, this is in a speech given to the Assembly of Beirut, the capital of Lebanon. He also said, now we think the liberation of Al-Aqsa Mosque is imminent because we are now in the era of victory and development. Ismail Haniya also said that the Gaza Strip is conducting military operations against Israel despite being blockaded by Israel's water, land and air routes, which means Gazans are ready to fight against Israel. A few days ago, Russia is ready to provide military and intelligence support to the Palestinians. In a speech at a military ceremony last week, President Vladimir Putin announced advanced weapons and cooperation with allied nations. He said, resistance should be built against neo-colonialism and the West. Israel is going to be the first victim of Putin's war. Putin is sending a strong message to Israel and America by pulling Hamas to his chest. Israel issued an official statement last April strongly condemning Russia's operation in Ukraine. Israel did not stop by condemning the Russian operation. The country called Russia's ongoing campaign as a gross violation of international law and world order. Israel then voted to expel Russia from the UN Human Rights Council. Russian officials have called Tel Aviv statements condemning the Russian operation and its attempt to expel Russia from the UN Human Rights Council and anti-Russian attack. So now along the America, Israel has become Russia's worst enemy. Hamas delegation has already visited Russia. Analysts have seen that Russia is behind Hamas leader Ismail Haniya's statement after Russia's cooperation with Hamas. But after all these verbal disputes between Israel and Russia, the Russian air defense system hit the Israeli aircraft through the Russian airways in Syria. So it can be said that the relationship between Russia and Israel has gone to a very bad stage. Dear viewers, tell us your opinion in the comments. How much danger can Israel face due to Russia's enmity with Israel? Subscribe our channel to watch such videos regularly. Click the like button if you like this video. Share the video with your friends and let them know too.